you put blue pants on? Are you serious? I'm firing you. I'm firing you. I'm firing you. What's up guys? It's Willie the Tech Guy and today we have yet another amazing review lined up for you and you know always keep it tech and make sure to subscribe click the bell icon so that you always get tech we're going to be bringing you the best in tech reviews and you also have an opportunity to uh, reach us out in the comment section can you tell us what are some of the things that you would like us to review so that we always bring these products closer to you we put the ad in tech so that's why we are tech ad now today we're going to be looking at an amazing product. Now I happen to be a, a pro user by pro user standards. I, um, I uh, on the other side I do a bit of graphic design and also once in a while edit some of my videos. And that is why I've been using the M1 MacBook Pro since it came out. I upgraded from uh, the previous generation, you know, and you know it looked like a very good upgrade then. Uh, until later I realized that they were actually going to launch the 16 inch which might be the M1X and I regret it later but I have loved this M1 MacBook Pro since launch I've been using it I've been loving it the workflow how small it is how portable and powerful it is at the same time and uh, it was amazing when I got to saw Tim Cook, you know, doing uh, all his magic things there. And they finally revealed that they picked the M1 chip on the MacBook Pro. And they put it finally on the M1 iPad. So now, if you're a Pro user, you no longer just have the MacBook Pro as an option but you have the iPad Pro. So the iPad Pro 2021 comes with the amazing M1 chipset. Now, the iPad was already in a league of its own. You know, we were talking about it was the fastest tablet out there, faster than even any other Android tablet since, you know, it had its custom processor. You know, be before this, we had uh, the iPad Pro that used the A12X Bionic, and it's a, it was a very fast chip. No other Android tablet could come close. And they decided to change up this game. That's why they brought together the M1 iPad Pro. Now here we have the M1 iPad Pro. And I have to say a very big shout out to the guys over and Mac and Mo. This, this is one of the Apple resellers that we have here in Kenya. They're located in Westlands. They helped me get this amazing iPad Pro. And this is quite a really nice beauty to behold. You know, the design itself, the way it looks, it's appealing. Uh, it's, it's boxy and kind of uh, rounded edges, but you know, it's, it's a flat kind of a panel. It's, it's very comfortable to hold and very comfortable to use. And uh, it's really a nice uh, tablet. If you just look at it, you have your quad speakers, you have your USB type C, which is actually Thunderbolt 4. Um, you have your sensor, you know, ideally for the Apple Pencil. These are some of the accessories you can use with the iPad. So if you want to turn it to a note taking device, you have the opportunity to have the Apple Pencil and uh, you know just write on it the Apple Pencil attaches magnetically and from there you can use it to scribble as a note-taking device if you want to take your pro use to the next level you can attach it to the ma magic keyboard too and you from there you no longer just have a tablet you actually have a, a, what I'd call a full laptop because I've been using the uh, MacBook Pro, the M1 and uh, if you pitch this against the the, the laptop it's almost the same size you know this is a 12.9 versus a 13 inch it's taller but the, the 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 laptop is wider but you see one of the reasons why people go for the laptop is you know this ability to have your full spec on keyboard and trackpad and you're able to use it but with the magic keyboard you can turn the ipad into a laptop now the only disadvantage you're having here is that the the m the m1 um MacBook Pro comes with, you know, macOS vis-a-vis -vis 
the iPad Pro coming with iPad OS and I actually updated it to the latest version of iPad OS that's iPad OS 15 and I've been loving my experience then so it has quite some amazing things inside we're going to look at displays one of the key attraction points for the M1 iPad the app, the processor itself the fact that it actually has the same M1 architecture uh, that is in the, this laptop so the same processor here is the same processor here so you're meaning in this tablet you're getting the processing power of a laptop and let me tell you the m1 processor beats very many intel based uh, computers so ideally you are having top of the line processing performance here and battery life and not only that because it's a it's a tablet you have the option of actually going for the wi-fi only or the wi-fi plus cellular i have here the 256 gigabyte wi-fi plus cellular option which also means i have a 5g tablet that's why you have the cut out antenna lines for 5g now if i go into the display because ideally when you're going into such a beautiful tablet like this one of the things that you're really considering is the display if i go into the display this is a 12.9 inch liquid retina xdr display with support for pro motion which means it goes all the way up to 120 hertz for refresh rate and this is this is just a beaut refreshing on this playing games on this doing your tasks your reading on this is is more smoother because of the promotion and one of the things that i have to say there is that not only is 120 hertz on this a beaut but the fact that you couple up that together with ipad os that has smooth transitions it makes the overall experience worthwhile and you get to enjoy that 120 hertz to the fullest it's also a 2.5k display which means uh, the resolutions are 2048 by 2732 which means you get clear crisp details it's over and above your full hd plus so it means you're getting you know ideally clearer and better pixels as you enjoy this ipad experience it also has support for dolby vision so if you're enjoying your movies that have dolby vision support you're gonna enjoy them on this and i like the fact that this display is a mini led display now if, if you guys would want us to do a separate video to explain just some of these words you know we have lcd we have led we have oled we have qled and then we are now entering into the level of mini leds and soon also micro leds now this is a mini led display it has 10,000 mini leds inside and in those 10,000 uh, mini leds they are grouped into 2500 local dimming zones so it means this led display can go dark where it needs to go dark and go bright where it needs to go bright without having all that power draw and all that power gain so you really get to enjoy the viewing experience of this because of the led the mini led the display itself can go up all the way to 10,000 uh 1000 nits of typical brightness it has support for full hdr and it has a million to one contrast ratio so my guys you are getting an amazing display with this you know even my m1 macbook pro ideally still has an L lcd display but i've enjoyed using and actually at times gaming on on call of duty on this but people don't actually buy them a macbook to game on it but i've enjoyed that experience on this because of that clear crisp and a sharp display now one of the things that makes this ipad outstanding from the, all the other versions of ipad is not only just the display because that's new with the 21 2021 lineup but only on the 12.9 inch because when you get the 11 inch it does not come with a mini led but the 12.9 inch comes with a mini led and that's why i actually went for this but also what makes it different is the internals you have yourself in here the m1 chip the m1 chip is a, a apple's custom silicon based chipset that powers its new device now apple are moving from intel based uh, 
max uh, into more of Apple Silicon and th that becomes the powerhouse that powers their computers and this makes them or gives them the opportunity to create better performance better power draw and all that and we can see that also through their iphone lineup because they actually make their custom processors they're able to tweak their iphones to give you better battery life vis-a-vis -vis the competition that actually buys parts then assembles now that's the game that they are trying to play here they are moving also not just from their custom a12x bionic that powered the previous generation of ipads but they are moving to m1 as their custom in-house processor for even the ipad which means if you're on a budget and you're choosing between the ipad and the 13 inch m1 macbook you ideally have a very thin line to choose between because this gives you ideally similar performance i've loved the battery life of this i carry it around almost daily as you can see i have my magic keyboard 2 attached to it which ideally draws power from uh, the tablet and i have my apple pencil and i use them all in hand together and i normally get you know a day plus of battery uh, of screen on time and you know it, it, it has become a pretty nice tool that I get to use on a daily basis and you know I even have my Photoshop in here when I need to do some a bit of tweaking and a bit of writing as I'm preparing scripts and all that I, I can easily get to do them on this without having to carry my laptop anymore so I'm moving some of my functions that don't really require a physical laptop to the tablet because the tablet can actually handle this so the M1 iPad uh, you get pretty good power performance ideally you have uh, 8 GB of uh, RAM you, and you have various storage options you can start from the 128 the 256 the 512 and the 1 terabyte option but you can go all the way up to the 2 terabyte option that actually comes with the M1 iPad so it also has in the in this in this same processor the M1 it also carries an 8 core GPU so it has a powerful graphics performance unit and this is for ideally again your gaming your tasks some of the people that are, uh, are opting for the m1 ipad are people that actually maybe are going to use photoshop or are going to use uh, a couple of other tweaks that you get in the ipad to get to give you that better performance so some of the, some of the things you also get on the ipad pro are the cameras ideally if you go over to the the, the back it has two cameras your main camera your ultra wide and your lidar it's no longer the time of flight but it's a lidar sensor which ideally can be able to uh, send waves that are able to approximate distance which give uh, ideally if you're taking photos on this and people really actually do take photos on their ipad but if you're taking photos on this if you've gone to an event and the only thing you hold up is your ipad it can actually do it does do shoot amazing photographs it has your 12 megapixel wide angle your 12 megapixel ultra wide and your lidar and the lidar can actually even use for tools like measurement it's very accurate you can get to measure distances you can also get to simulate your ar experience maybe if you're buying an item and then you know we are coming to a place where you can actually see how that item fits in your space that is made capable because of the lidar sensor if you come over to the front it has a 12 megapixel uh selfie shooter which is we can go actually ultra wide and one of the things that ipad os does is that it has a feature in the camera that is called center stage which means if i'm recording you know if i'm recording a video on the the, the selfie if i'm doing a vlog or something and i get to move out the frame the camera is able to adjust to always make sure that i'm always in the center of the frame and if someone else pops into the video it's able to you know um, go even wider to accommodate that new person that has stepped into the video these are some of the amazing things that come with uh, the camera and the photography in this one of the things also that comes with this 13 uh 12.9 inch ipad is the fact that it has cameras so ideally very few people buy the tablet because of cameras but it is good to know that it has good cameras so you, you, ideally you're not thinking about cameras when you're buying an ipad but it's 
a good consolation to know that they have actually considered that cameras might be something that you might need you know you might be at a show and and something comes up and you're like ah oh, let me just capture this image so it has good cameras so it has a 12 megapixel main sensor it has a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a lidar sensor that's this sensor that you have here and the lidar sensor is very good for uh depth information ideally in other uh, in other cameras uh, you have what you call a, a time of flight or a depth sensor in here is the lidar sensor which is actually even much more better and it's even much more detailed when it comes to measurements of depth you you know there are people that because of the lidar sensor you can have measurement tools you're able to measure the distance if you point your camera you're able to measure the distance between where you're standing and, and, and maybe a wall or a certain object. And because you're coming into a time and a space where uh, you can shop for things online and actually see how they fit real time in your space, those are some of the things that are empowered by the LiDAR sensor. So it has good cameras, a 12 megapixel main, a 12 megapixel ultra wide, the LiDAR sensor at the back, that's the camera, uh, that's the camera configuration that you have at the back with your flash if you come over at the front it has a 12 megapixel ultra wide selfie shooter now again one of the things that they have tweaked in ipad os to make it a better experience is something we call center stage and center stage gives you the ability to become the center of the frame so if you're shooting on this maybe i'm doing a vlog or i'm doing a video or i'm doing facetime because ideally part of the reason why you have a selfie shooter is because of facetime i'm doing that and I move slightly away from the frame, the camera will adjust to make sure that I am at the center of the frame always. And in the case that someone else comes in and maybe we are doing a conversation, the camera will adjust its angle to make sure it's wider to capture the both of us, both of us in that frame. So ideally, it has good cameras packed together in this amazing beast. It has a 40 watt battery, uh, 40 uh, WH, that's wattage per hour battery, and it's powered by a 20 watt power brick that you have outside the box. It comes with uh, two color options. You have your space gray and your silver. Ideally have with me here the space gray, um, kind of more of a dark, Tuned, tuned tone kind of a guy so this ipad really works well and they've also recently uh, launched a white version with a white uh, keyboard so these are some of the things that you can get to enjoy with the m1 ipad it's a wrap from us guys till next time peace out